you can see in this chart, I mean, they make good money. The I'd say yeah. Gossip Harbor is what made lifetime revenue, 100, 100 million, not yeah. including ads. I don't have this is just IAPs, so I don't have any information on ads or web stores. Merge Magic is a you know solid 130 million. Um, but you can see over time, this looks like merge is just growing. But what it doesn't yeah. show you is I've marked it here. There's actually a shift where that happened where you you just said can't merge games and then once the everyone started making grid merge games This is a no bullshit gaming show where we talk about games and their revenue in great detail powered by our ad monetization game design and user acquisition triple threat expertise Welcome to the two and a half gamers, the unfiltered truth served with a side of giggles. Let's not forget this is a 4 a.m. conference discussion vibe, so let's not take it too seriously. Tune in now and stay two and a half steps ahead of the game. It will industry. be a discussion, no worries. It will yeah. be <laughs> full of that joke. I, I was actually. Oh, this, oh fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> it just, it just started. <laughs> Let's just say welcome everyone. <laughs> this is Two and a Half Gamers, and we have a super big topic and very special guest as well. But before we start, welcome again. This is an episode number one oh five. Jakob, is that is that correct? Yeah, I guess so. Maybe I six. Guess so. Okay, no, no. okay. Anyway, so my name is Matija Lancharic. I'm Felix Broberg, mm -hmm. and I'm Jakub Remer. And we are your hosts. And we again, as I said, we have a special guest, Laura. Welcome to the show. And sh I mean, do you want to start with like a short introduction about yourself and, uh, you know, why we love you as well? I mean, oh. that's, that's maybe on our side. I was going to say, I can guess, but yeah, oh, you uh, can. yeah, yeah sure. You can. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm Laura Taranto. I am one of the hosts on Twig and I play a lot of puzzle games. I've been in the space about 15 years, started in web, now doing mobile, love puzzle games. I think they don't get enough like attention and love overall. Everyone's like, I want to do mid court games, but puzzle is where the money is. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm here to talk about lots of merge. Well, yes. So much merge. So much merge. <laughs> so yeah, we then merge with Felix to eye candy and then leave. And then we come back, we, we come back <laughs> after one hour. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. So yeah. I guess cool. we did so, these kind of a deep dives regarding companies before where we picked like a specific company mobile portfolio and did all of it, like Rovio, Ubisoft mobile and so on and so forth. It was forth. a long time ago. Yeah, so that was a long time ago, but let's say this time we thought maybe let's do also one of these like uh, giant preparation work episode. So because there's a lot of moves <laughs> happening currently in the merge genre, specifically the subcategory of puzzle, well, we want to look at it a little bit closer. Really, tell me since uh, when uh, did you find out about Travel Town and how, how, it, how they're fucking killing it? You told me or something. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Because I'm I'm following this game since last year, like a lot. When they started like scaling, and then uh, yeah, I was I was there looking in, uh, at the numbers when they actually became number one, which was yeah, in I January. I think. Magnetic before they even got bought by Moon Active, so I beat both of you. Oh, I, oh. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Com okay. Is uh. A big, a big measuring contest? No, let's yeah, let's let's, let's let's continue because I we will go... lose. I yeah. would lose. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk we about merch. The... Let's talk about merch. Let's talk about okay, but wait, 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 wait a second. So, uh, guys, uh, listen, listeners, please um, open up Spotify uh, video or YouTube because it's going to be a lot of visuals. Honestly. The prep for this episode, it's if when I was talking, uh, taking a look at the notes, it's 16 pages. So, um, yeah, buck up for sure. Yeah. There's, there's a lot, there's a lot on merch. You know, it's funny, it's like it, it really didn't, it's not as old as match three in terms yeah. of how many games and um, what the what the like the innovations in that subgenre, but there has been a lot of changes. And yeah, you know, Travel Town's particularly impressive because it was started by Magmatic, which was Florian Florian Squared, Florian Florian, two wonderful guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, two Florians. Yeah, two Florians. Um and I think what the, I mean, I feel like that game Travel Town, now it's being run by Moon Active. They I feel like that's kind of revitalized the genre and is really pushing I think it's pushing all the games to evaluate what making what a what a good balanced 
grid merge game is. And I think that's, it's, it's making it, I think it's, it's bringing, making it more interesting and it's getting more eyes than it did before. So, mm. but on the, scale, on the scale of one to 10, how excited are you to talk about merge now? Okay. Match three, I'm always a 10. Love talking yeah. about match three. Merge, I'm usually like a seven. I get frustrated mm. with merge games. I'll talk, I'll go <laughs> yeah. into it later, but uh, nice. it's just, it's so easy to make a mistake in the game and make the experience turn into a slog. And I actually mm. think Travel Town has not done this. I feel like they mm. actually learned how to make the, how, they tried to really understand what, like, they took what players wanted, what they were frustrated by, and then they they made the actual gameplay something that is really challenging i think it's challenging all the other grid merge games to be like this is this is the new definition of fun this Ooh, is how nice. you make merge a success so Ooh. it took wait, a lot before, of playing before, i mean before I, we start yeah. diving in here like just roughly uh do we know like roughly how much each of these games make like how much this category makes and like what are the main you know, geos they target there. Yeah, it's all there. don't worry one of the 16 slides so, all right <laughs> <laughs> no, Actually, no, no, I think no. the slide decks are a little bit different. It's there's, 20, more... there's 21 yeah. slides, but we're I not have... going to spend too much time on it. It's them. fine. I have 50 well... slides. That's, all, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but Felix, like half a mil, I think it's the last uh, number for travel time per day. More than half a mil a day. But more, we'll get there. We'll get there. Let's start from the start. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, so Merge has been around. Oh, I mean, it's been around a long time. So the first game, I hope, I mean, I hope people remember it because it's actually quite a good game. But Spry Fox created I have Triple no Town. Idea. At, really? Yeah. Because I like, no way. Those, I are, like, well, those are not product people. I'm your person here. Oh, Just, got it. Those okay. are yeah. candy now. 20, yeah. 20, <laughs> 20, 20, 40, come on, 2040, I remember. I remember. But 20, like, yeah, 2040 made a, made a big swing. Yeah. So Spry Fox was one of the originals. That came out. The original game came out in 2011. I remember playing it on Facebook, and then they ported it to iOS uh, soon after. Then, I mm. mean, Merge was pretty quiet. Then 2048 came out. This was Gabriele Ciruli. This was a guy from Italy. I think he was 19 years old. And then just, yeah. Papa the poopy. Papa <laughs> poopy. And I, yes. I think he made that as like a side project. Yeah. That that started to get attention, and then the game that I think everyone knows is Graham Games uh, Merge Dragons. But yeah. it wasn't actually it wasn't uh, Graham uh, Games initially. It was Ray Mazza who who is like looking at the Sim Social Sim City as inspiration for making a, a game in the grid merge. In the sorry, in the mm. that's like actually a camp merge game, uh, the camp merge space. Um, wait, a what? What? What's the difference? This is merge. Uh, which is the difference between what? Uh, Greed merch and camp, camp merch. Camp, I, will, camp merch. Yeah. I will get into that. I have okay, slides good. for that too. Good. Yes. So, good. so this is Merge Dragon. So they took basically camp. They took this huge area, this big, big island of land. And that's your play board. So then you're, mm. you're merging basically three plus. So you're, this is, okay. now this gets into the math behind Merge it's games and what level differentiates based. them. Yes. It's, it's level also based. level based, but this is level based, but they also have the big board yeah, the where big you, camp yeah, on top of it. the big camp. Yes. Okay. So yeah, if you, you look, look like here, look much, eh? confused. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm not confused. <laughs> I mean, like I play, I, look I played way more Merge games. Well, way more games in general than you in your life. So that's, I mean, I'm still, <laughs> still, I, still I, can, I can catch up with things. <laughs> Small amount compared to me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's continue. Fair. Let's continue yes. the history lesson. But I think it, you're you're raising good questions that I think a lot of people are wondering, which is yeah, because you, we are not product people, so you're like yeah. you need to explain a little bit more. Merge. What what drives me crazy is merge gets like all lumped together, all of these games. But we, um, Jacob and I, divided them into different types of merge because they have different they have different frustrations and different player motivations. So. Merge three, which is the your your uh, merge dragons and your merge magic, your ever merge merge county. That's literally usually you have a big island. Sometimes you have levels. Merge dragon does merge magic and dragon do the levels, but that's where you're trying to merge three or more uh, to build up. Yes, exactly this. You're building up your island. You're trying to get to the highest tier items. Usually they generate something for you. This is one distinct style of merge play, and it's usually called Camp Merge or Merge 3 Plus. That's how I differentiate them. And then you have your Merge 2 variations. So the 
initial start of, of Merge 2 is usually credited to uh, Metacore's Merge Mansion. They took like a swing. I hadn't seen it. I haven't seen anything like it before. The, the only no. one that was kind of similar was um, you could you could sort of see it maybe in, in Travel Town because it's a small grid, like it's a small board, but not I, I would say that's a that's a stretch. So Merge Mansion came out and instead of doing this big old island, they basically, I would love to think that they were inspired by a match three board and trying to think, how do you get rid of that sprawl? How do you get rid of all this land management, uh, which, which becomes the bigger your islands, the more pieces you have. Now, all of a sudden you're spending a lot of time organizing. So how do you get this down to a more like manageable play space? And so that is the big difference between grid merge and camp merge, small finite board, you're only merging two, so your chain lengths are going to be different. And it just, this does, even though it's not leveled, it has more of a level feel. So important, in the same time, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, just saying like the important distinction, maybe people don't understand it on the first kind of try, is that be, the big difference between merging three or five and two is like a one to 10. I know it sounds kind of a like it's very Yo, similar. Well, thank you. That was very helpful. But, very yeah. good. Yeah, <laughs> very good just explanation. Saying, just we have a chart it's... that shows the math behind it and yeah, how yeah. different the it math is. Yeah. Okay. Drastic later. Yeah, down, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. But yeah, the explanation sucked, man. Like, where I can be? We're, yeah. we're just. <laughs> But I can be, I can be, can be angry. It's like if I'm not getting an explanation, like come on. I feel like that's spicy candy. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, <laughs> jalapeno candy. <laughs> Oh, half of you can be, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry. I, I don't so, want to interrupt, but. Yeah. No, you're fine. We'll, no, we'll, I'll I move will. through the, this part quickly. <laughs> oh, please interrupt. It, it makes it interesting. So Merge Mansion kind of set the stage. Then uh, Travel Town came out. It was very early. This was back in 2020. Then we have uh, Love and Pies came out. They actually had two releases. So they had their initial mm. game, which was not a grid merge game. It was, I would. This is like, uh, it reminds me a lot of Pepper Panic from uh, King on their, uh, their old, their old, uh, they used, I think, I don't think it ever really released from mobile or web, but they had basically on King.com, it was one of the uh, playable games. Uh, and this is not quite grid merge. This is, I would say, an innovation of grid merge where it's trying to do hmm. match three or more, it auto merges, and then it auto merges again if there are similar pieces next to it. Seems to be like click to match, to be honest, like just on the yeah. surface. Look. Yeah, a little bit. Yep. It has like blast inspiration in there yeah. too. Like there's, there's a whole bunch in this. Too many things, uh, but didn't work, I guess, uh, when combined. Yep. I guess not, because they, they re-released uh, shortly afterwards, maybe a year, year or so afterwards. I don't have the exact well, dates. They, they say they had like two or three different uh, prototypes in the soft launch and the merch had the best KPIs. Yeah. So... They re-released to grid merge, um, and now it is your now it is a standard grid merge game. And then following uh, Love and Pies, you have your uh, Go uh, Gossip Harbor by Microfun. Oh, they hev heavily inspired, heavily inspired by Love and Pies. Down heavily to, inspired say, by everything. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ! Oh my God! I mean, even the storyline you see, this is like such for UA credit. It's like, oh, you got the daughter, you got the divorce, you got the like cops coming hey, to arrest. Okay. It's like I will show you in the creators. Yeah, yeah I'm makes sure. me puke all the fucking time. Like that's like the <laughs> the bottom of everything. Oh, I hate it. Yeah. I hate it. We'll get it there. Works. Later. Yeah, it, it works. works. It's actually I like it. Gossip Harbor is probably my second favorite grid merch game. <laughs> Well, the game, I, maybe, but as soon as I see those creatives, it makes me just put bleach in my eyes oh, immediately. No. Fucking terrible. Yeah. Freezing families? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's, it's terrible. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but yeah. The, the both the map, both the, the like grid merge, this kind of, let's say, I think that, that was like one of the, correct Ooh. me if I'm wrong, that they took this kind of customer system for quests when they iterated of what Merch Mansion had, that was like the big push to make the UI much more streamlined. So yeah, Gossip Harbor has it all. And I guess a little bit more robust meta because it's making like, what, like seven times or eight times the revenue of Love and Pies, which still, by the way, is not in decline. We'll get to it. Yeah. But yeah, the big innovation is this top bar, I would say, that is now put it on the grid merge directly instead of just like being in quests and stuff. Yes, 100%. The, the task versus order-based is a is a big difference in these games, especially Merge Mansion versus uh, the Gossip Harbor. 
huge difference. And it changes how the gameplay works. It changes how fast you can progress. Uh. And then Travel Town does it even better. So now there, it, it's... It, it's one of the key parts of making a, a healthy grid merge economy, which leads directly to revenue. Um, oh, this is Travel nice. Town. Yeah, this and is then, Travel Town. Yeah. yeah, and then so we have Gossip Harbor Microfun. They made, and then they also made Seaside Escape, which was heavily inspired by Travel Town. <laughs> heavily inspired. <laughs> <Not shit>, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Heavily inspired. Yeah. Clone. Yeah, they also also did, by the way, Merch County, which was heavily inspired by Ever right. Merch. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I mean, look. It's a Chinese company. <laughs> they they know how to make a lot of uh, a lot of games, I guess. But fast, which fast, which are heavily inspired. <laughs> and the thing, like it's it's making a lot of money as well. Yeah. So there you go. I I like to give credit because I think it's one thing if you clone a game, but if you clone a game and then it outperforms, I think it's that's thing, worth. Yeah. yeah, I think that makes it very interesting. And then it's it's like that's. That's like digging in the heart of why, and you and it's a question of did they understand the space better? How did they how did they take what what one person did, optimize it, and then improve it to the point where it's it's outperforming the what yeah. they what was initially just a, a co- heavily inspired version of yeah. another. <laughs> credit is due where like credit is heavily, due. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hi. Okay, uh, moving on. There's a little bit of midcore spiced in into the timeline. Uh, I can talk a little bit about this one. So there's currently the only game on the market which we covered in a separate episode before, which is called Top Groups from Social Point, uh, owned by Zynga, which is a camp merge game with a midcore progression, which is doing, I would say, decent, something like, like 50... 50k a day, day. something yeah. 50k okay. a day, which I think is still pretty decent. The question well, it's is, IIP only, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, IIP that's, only. That's three outplacements now. Yeah. Okay. It's like so it's, now it's yeah. It's okay. Even, uh, but it's still small. Yeah, but this is as far as it goes because if you look into our history chart, uh, there's actually two more games which are kind of more prominent that has been done throughout the years. One yeah, merge is... stories. How did that go? Yeah, merge stories didn't go very well. <laughs> they pretty much <laughs> launched and they uh, shut down the whole studio. If I if I understand, Platica did that in like yeah. uh, less than three months or something or four months. <laughs> and uh, they actually had a very interesting mechanic where the merge tokens, like the soldiers that you were merging, they were actually consumable. You were losing them in battle, and then you actually had to combine them dead souls or whatever. It was kind of very very unique. I guess it didn't work out, but I guess worth a try. And then we have sales of fury by metacore which was for long sales of fury now it's not merge vikings yeah it's not Merge vikings it seemed from last month it got renamed uh and uh yeah shout out to our friend etu who did the video uh which is who is working there now our former colleague so yeah yeah from Treplight. but the thing is that the game let me show you is actually a grid merge game which uh has this kind of a let's say the base building where you have the grid merge and you merge stuff, you merge soldiers, you merge resources and stuff like that. And then you actually go into battles where the battles are you sending your soldiers on a mm. beach of your enemy, which <laughs> is actually the bottom part of your camp because you're not only merging the resources on top, the bottom of your camp is merging your defenses. Oh, okay. And this <sighs> game will be sitting in soft launch next month for three years on Metacore's account. So we had the former category read, category leader of the merch genre, which tried to kind of branch into midcore, but I guess, yeah. It's not easy. It's not easy. Spoiler and alert. Yeah, I was also in this kind of a dream. I don't think so. It's that, that like the closest one to anything viable merch-wise in midcore is Top War, which uses yeah. the midcore, midcore gameplay to kind of cover the, you know, the onboarding with the creatives and everything. But I guess that's that. So I guess we can skip the Let's say midcore detail. Mid it's, 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 we are not there yet. We are not there. Yet. I still Look think that there's one missing piece, and as soon as someone kind of uh, figures, figures that out, out, yeah, that, maybe, that, maybe. Yeah. I agree. Maybe. maybe. Okay. So yeah, you can continue, Laura. All right. So a little bit about the the merge market. So what what a lot of the um, again what I was kind of harping on before is that we don't have different easy to differentiate mm. ways to measure grid versus grid merge versus camp merge but you can see in this chart i mean they make good money the i'd say yeah. gossip harbor is what made lifetime revenue 100 100 million 
not yeah. including ads. I don't have, this is just IAPs. So I don't have any information on ads or web stores. Merge magic is a you know, solid 130 million. Um, but you can see over time, this looks like merge is just growing, but what it doesn't yeah. show you is I've marked it here. There's actually a shift where that happened, where you you just said can't merge games. And then once the, everyone started making grid merge games, um, the actual, if you going to, if you could look at this by percent revenue, you would actually see that grid merge now has the majority of revenue in the merge space. Mm. So, so yeah, so there's been, um, I think, and I think this is, I think a lot of this is due to, we'll get into some of the game loops, but I think it's, they're just dealing with the frustration that players face with the, with the different types of, of merge styles. Um, <laughs> you mean like the just, never ending camp. Oh, Jesus yeah. fucking Christ. This is terrible. So I could, one I thing could that, spend hours just like organizing this shit. Obviously, there's that's what auto, happens. Yeah, organizing. It, and you have to remember, like, oh. if, if you're organizing, what are you doing? You're moving pieces around. That is not yeah. a sink. You are not yeah. spending anything. There's no resources moving. That is not that you just can't. That that makes it incredibly difficult for late term gameplay. How do you start monetizing those users? And the, the larger your board, the more time organizing, less time doing actions and game the yeah. drain. It was absolutely terrible. It's really annoying. But then <laughs> and, I was like. Yeah, you know, the, the button. The worst sure. part is that one bad move, if you click somewhere yeah. oh. and you don't do optimally, which means you don't merge five, but three, and there goes your progression. And suddenly, yeah. you know, that's yeah, inefficient. It slows you down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So was yeah. that 50 mil a day or 50 mil? A, no, it's 50 mil a day, right? So no, not, a I wish it was 50 yeah, mil no, a day. 50 but... mil a day. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Sorry, 50 that... mil a day. No, 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 no. These... The whole, all the games, all the games combined. Yeah. Yeah. All the yeah. games combined into like January. Yeah. Um, I mean, all these games, right? It's not the yeah. whole merch. Yeah. yeah okay. It, it, like here I have like a little bit more, let's say, spread out picture here. So you can see that if we just go game by game, last month, IP revenue only. So there's something last like... Last 30 days. Last 30 days, sorry. Last 30 last days. 30 days. 17 and a half uh, mil for Travel Town. Yeah. 10 plus something for Gossip Harbor. Uh, nine plus something merch mention, eight plus Ooh, nearly nine. Merch mention is not even number two anymore. Fucking wow. hell! No, merch no, mention no, is I, number hey three guys, now. Wake up! Uh, Seaside Escape is nine. Merch Ooh, Dragon very close seven to merge and a half. Ali Stream. I don't even know what this is. I think. Oh, uh, I played it. It's. It's, I see it, it, that icon and it makes a me vomit again. Yeah, well, I, it depends how you define hybrid, but you're basically doing like little. It's like you take a mini game where you're taking apart rings that you like. You I see it in the you see, see in the icon. There's hyper yeah, casual it's mechanic, that. and it's just, oh fuck. Yeah. Okay, it's so that it's, plus merge plus a camp okay. merge. And they are that from China, merge. I okay. assume. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah. And then you have like a lot of these like. Uh, you know, other smaller games such as Love and the Pies still kind of making, there you have Evermerge, there you have Merge County, which is other micro fun game. Then you have Merge Fables, which again, another micro fun game. There, for instance, you have Merge In, shout out to Arzeny, somewhere yep. here. And yeah, so on and so forth. But the top of the category is pretty much taken by uh, Moon Active now, which is Travel yeah. Town. Micro fun. And, uh, micro fun. <laughs> yeah. And if we combine all the micro fun games, actually, yeah. If, if I count it up right, they're doing something like, uh, what? 24. 20, 20 something million. This is just microfans portfolio. I'm not. They're nearly, like, half, they of like... the, they're nearly half of the space combined. Yeah. No, no. Is this yeah. daily? Like all... This is, no, no, this uh, is monthly. monthly. March. March. Yeah. Oh, it's monthly. So... The first chart I showed, the first revenue chart, I believe, was, I think that was on daily. So Ooh. they're different. So this one, so let me see. Yeah, I think the the space. I feel like I mean, let me take a look. This one, this this seems like could be weekly yeah. or daily. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but but nonetheless, even though Travel Town is the biggest game of the category, actually, Microfun, the yeah, guys behind this heavily company. inspired games, are controlling the market. Yeah, that's true because they have four or five games, right? Fuck. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, this is this is the one I guess you were looking for. Sorry. Oh, this is just downloads. I was just yeah. having a yeah, look. It's I mean, downloads. it's it's what we expect. I mean, right now you can see that Travel Town's doing incredibly well, so they're yeah. upping upping their upping how much they're spending. But we can was, go into this more when we look at their UA. Yeah, I was looking into that, and I was combining merge mention numbers per day downloads in US and Travel Town. It's like it's it feels like a joke. <laughs> Seriously, the like Travel Town is like ten x uh, downloads than than merge mention. 
Um, yeah, this is an interesting use case. You can go ahead, Laura. Yeah, I was, I was looking at, so if we remember way back when we, you know, everyone's like, oh my God, Merch Dragons came out. So exciting. And it was, it was super exciting. New, it felt like a very new mechanic. And then they quickly released Merge Magic afterwards, which was very, very similar to Merge Dragons. And I just had a question, was it worth it? And looking back, probably not. No. Probably not. My my guess here is that like in in the in the in the worst in the worst case, they probably took some of the payers out of uh, Merge Dragons and brought them to Merge Magic, which probably didn't didn't uh it wasn't providing as good of this of a sink and they weren't spending as mm -hmm. much. Um and also, I mean, uh you could probably speak to this more, but they made two fantasy themed games. And I think Yeah, exactly. Like I, I I'm not sure why like the <laughs> UA creative my understanding for fantasy theme is like is Ooh, tough yeah, on its yeah. own I don't know why you'd want to do yeah. two of them but that and was like before we knew better right Way exactly back when. but and if you combine it with merch it's just like the worst out of worst seriously yeah. I think like <laughs> the like CPUs CPUs were something yeah. like you know the usual kind of when um, player X release homescapes after gardenscapes like you know oh, do the clone very... yourself strategy but i guess it's kind of backfired that was here. my question like if they did it just to create like cement themselves in the merch category just to create another game uh by themselves it's a, like it's a common strategy for instance if you take uh, is, empires, but... and, empires and puzzles inca also did like puzzle combat but at least switch it to zombie team but it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's the same game pretty much but i would say it's pretty similar chart right there so. <laughs> Not, not yeah. always works out in your favor, like with Playrix, where you know gardenscapes and but homescapes are. It's a different are... category, right? So you play yeah. multiple match-free games. Yes. You don't play like I don't think like you actually can play multiple merge games. Like, it's, it's like it's can't merge games. No, it is so hard, especially once you get to end stage. Because again, it goes back to how much time. I mean, these games just <laughs> yeah. sink such a time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right? It gets exactly. really hard. To, yep. Uh, now, grid merge, on the other hand, is possible because the sessions yeah. are just a little bit shorter. Yeah. Yeah. And, and well, well, like, if you're merging all these items, like, it takes a long time. And if it's like late, late game, it takes even more. Right. So, actually, uh, yes, but it also kicks you out. So, this is where okay. it gets into the balancing that we can go into. If you go to the next slide, we're going to start talking about yeah, this. Because the, keep in mind that you have still the same amount of energy. This is the oh, important thing. Okay, yes. With enough. camp, you have more and more space yeah, to manage. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. All right. So I, I put this as it. So my question is: We look at the numbers and we're like, "Oh my god, Travel Town's doing so well," and it's why. And this is like your the best merge games are have an incredibly balanced, basically economy. That is, it is it is Excel. It is an Excel game. You are playing an Excel game. And this is Thank how. Thank you very much for listening. That's, yeah. that's all we want. Yeah. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling that. Thank you. <laughs> but to give you, so I created, I created this chart just to show how this works and how, uh, when, if you, I mean, anyone who's actually who played a grid merge game, when you get to like tiers 10, this is just item, uh, basically a tier fight item. And the way I define tiers is you have your pieces that all go into a chain. Every item in the chain has a different level. Um, you merge up the levels to get a higher level. So that is basically what this chart is. And you can see that if you want to make one tier five item, you're going to need, what is it? At least 16, spend 16 energy. And that's just not taking one. into account yeah. the fact that certain generators of which you, how you get these items have primary and secondary, um, uh, basically merge chains Outputs. they spawn. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And they also have cooldown times. So as we're as we're talking about all this stuff, all of this has to be balanced correctly. Otherwise, the session play gets incredibly frustrating, incredibly incredibly quickly. So yep. as a, and I did, uh, so this was merge two. This isn't so bad. Sixteen. Now we get into merge three, and this is just easy math merge three because I didn't even go into the merge fives or merge sevens. <laughs> but you can see here, for that one tier five item, you need more. You need, what is it, three times? You need 18. So you need 18 now pieces to make one tier five item. And it um, depending on the game, I actually don't think they spawn. It depends on how the generators work. But um, it, I think they it, it spawn spawns up to level little, three. Up yeah. To level three. And that's the good, really good point. I'm glad you brought that up. Some of when you have a generator, sometimes you do you can reduce the you know the the length of this chain because sometimes you end up getting a higher tiered item. Yeah. 
Yeah. So you can try to spot. There you go. So you got you got your your sprig, your little piece of leaf, the green thing. Yeah. So you got yeah. they ended up giving you a level three item. And one of the, the, the beauty that's in Travel Town is and I'll actually be fair, a lot of the other grid and games do this. As you level up your generators, just as you progress, you get you get level generator um, pieces, usually through level up, um, you get higher chances of getting higher items. So they yeah. try to ease the frustration that way. Yeah, because your economy output, like your conversion ratio of energy to like these pieces kind of actually increases based on the increasing chances of the generators. That's the whole point and the mm -hmm. only permanent thing within the game, generator resource. Yeah. So this is, okay, so then I just made a chart and I, I can't take full credit. The merge two was kind of easy math. So just like, ah, oh, this isn't so bad, but no. it gives you the estimated energy excluding <laughs> excluding secondary pieces and the um, the chance of uh, spawning a higher tiered item. Like you, you're asking for a, a tier tier nine item. That's, that's a lot of expected energy drain. Mm -hmm. Now, merge three, I ripped this from Reddit because <laughs> I'm yeah. like, it's complicated, Donut but time. you can start to see, and apologies, these these graphs are inverted. So the one on the left grid merge, the hot, the lowest tier is at the top, and camp merge, the lowest tier is at the bottom. So the way that you kind of think about this is a little bit little bit different because you're building towards a final stage. You are building towards a final stage item, but the way the chart was done is that it's telling you how much energy you need for the final stage item. Um, so at the bottom you have the log. You need sixty five hundred logs merging five <laughs> to get your. And this is this is from the Evermerge Reddit. I just took a some okay. we have some very loyal fans that put together yeah. spreadsheets of this. <laughs> of course. <laughs> nice. It's yeah. always happened with these games. Keep yeah. in mind, by the way, the number of human interactions needed to actually get these things together, not just the energy. That's the important <laughs> thing. And the other important thing is why I think there's also like these and kind the of big moves within the genre is that these things are never told to the player regarding the drop rates. At ever, never any merge game yeah. tells you which are the exact drop rates of, let's say, my herb hamper or my whatever epic bucket, and what was the previous drop rate, what was the increase, and this is the balancing sheet that is the secret sauce that everybody yeah. keeps playing to their chest because nobody tells you, and yeah. that goes for everyone, and it's just this kind of a trade secret that goes around the market. Oh, it's like the same thing. Oh, let's just clone this one. Like... How hard can it be? How hard <laughs> can it be? Hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It's just it, the game looks exactly the same. <laughs> how, like how come it doesn't make so, uh, the same amount of money? Oh hell, hello. <laughs> yeah, this this is the secret sauce. Literally, this is the secret sauce. The drop rates between generators and the balancing of the sessioning, and and the orders versus tasks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because now we're so getting wait, wait, into wait, wait. you still have board issues in grid merge. Hmm? Can you the go orders versus from? tasks. So Yep. So basically, we'll like the, 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 the drop rate you think is the secret sauce, so like the rate at which they give higher tiered items to progress users, that's like the, the magic stuff. That's what I makes it hard. I think it's more complicated than that. It, yeah, it's it's, it's, yeah. That's a little you, bit of sim simplification I did there, but to give you a better example, let's say the drop rates is one thing. The yeah. other thing is that all of these generators, they are actually having completely different timelines how they work. For instance, yes. this whatever kitchen robot, I just spawn it, there it goes. It's already on cooldown. Mm -hmm. I could throw literally like 50 energy here into this epic bucket because this is like, I would call it like the baseline generator. Yeah, then you, you have specific... Way, way more. Yeah, then you have specific generators like this one, which I keep here hidden because the moment you put it on like an empty field, it starts spawning stuff on its own without mm -hmm. any energy actually. And then you have these other, let's say, temporary generators such as the camera here which if i start spawning it actually disappears because it's a product of other generation so you first needs to kind of create the camera from this generator and then you have like another temporary generator that again works itself i just asked what the magic sauce was and now we're jacob's answering your question though. it is I know, it I is know, a combination I'm, of I'm yeah just giving him crap because he giving gave me him a lot of crap yeah. last week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was mean to me, and I'm mean to him. <laughs> I think so. In playing these games, I thought, oh, they're all the same. They're not all the same. Yeah. They are not all the same. Like, I, and, then, and I'm talking just about grid, um, the grid merge games. Travel Town is not the same as Gas Gossip Harbor. Is not the same as Love and Pies. Is not the same as Merge Mansion. They if are. You ask players. 
they would say, oh my God, it's oh. murder games, the same fucking thing. Exactly. Oh. You're right. Yeah. Mm. Players would be like, oh, it's so similar. It's not. Behind the scenes, it is not. Oh, it depends on which players you do ask. The ones that are making the Excel sheets on Reddit or yeah, the well, players like that. Yeah, that's what I would say. Sure. Yeah, that's sure. A good point. Sure. That's a very good point. Yes. But I, do you think like there are Excel sheets on Reddit for Travel Town as well? I would guess so. Yeah. Sure. yeah. yeah. And they have good ones. That, that yep. is, they have, in my opinion, they have the best ones. That is mm. why I think I made a comment on Twig that it was due to the events. The Travel Town does not have the same events loop as Gossip Harbor yet. Gossip Harbor has the most events. They have all the events. Travel Town and, does not. They don't have a battle pass yet either. And But they are making more money. And it, it is how, I think it is how they uh, change the economy of the game. Also, the microphone they have the events and all the all the things because they're from China and that's what our friend Haven from Century Games said. They are good in squeezing money out of players. That's why they're super big on Forex games and I think they kind of borrowed this uh, strategy for, for merch games. That's why. Like they have so many so many events and live ops. Just like mm -hmm. a two, two minute search on Reddit you immediately <laughs> go to the sheet. Like this is go. actually what's what's happening <laughs> within the player base. This is directly this from the Reddit. It's yeah. perfect. Yeah. So just saying, whoever kind of props kudos to whoever did that. I just googled nice. it from Reddit. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, you can find a lot of things, uh, good things on Reddit. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Oof. Okay. All so... right. So we talked a little bit about this. I'll just quickly. So the merch challenges. Yep. So as we. So going, okay, we'll skip merge challenges. We all know there are challenges. So for the, yeah. why, why I think the games are not the same. So I, I just, I, oh, as a fun hello. exercise. What okay. What was that? <laughs> what was that? Are you sure? Uh, it's just, no, wait, switching between the happened. tabs. Oh. For the first time, <laughs> you know, Matia uses his child for marketing to get clicks. Now he did the same. <laughs> now Yaku did the same to get clicks. Yeah, yeah. The thumbnail like, of this episode. Subliminal. <laughs> JB. <laughs> now, let's move yeah. on. <laughs> anyway, yeah, anyway. So Travel Town. It's it's pretty simple. Like you merge, it takes energy. Energy is the is the one of the main sinks. What's interesting, Travel Town does not give away free energy in the shop. They are very aware of the fact of where, where that revenue comes from. Mm. Now, this is the order system. Order systems are what we see above with the people asking for specific things. You fulfill orders, it costs the tiered items that the uh from the merge board. You get coins, you get tools, and sometimes you get like the basically a, a, a loot box of stuff. Um, and you basically, you take your coins, you then can build, you can build out your town. The story, I will, I will say, the story is rather weak. If, if Travel Town came out and they just read the story, I think this would be a much stronger game. Uh, and then you keep... Do you play this really care of, okay. about story in these games? I did when I so I would it. say... But you I are you're that... a half gamer, dude. So you are you don't cut. You're... I no, want no, to no. find out who poisoned, who did the food poisoning in Gossip Harbor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I just okay. got divorced. My husband had a gambling addiction. <laughs> okay, you know, enough. I actually think if you take these games, Love and Pies has the strongest story. Travel Town yeah. is the weakest story. We look at performance. I don't think story matters. Exactly. I think, exactly. Okay. Yeah. I I think very let me put well it this put. way: same in match. It's the same in match three. You can't have. You need to have a very strong puzzle engine, and then story is a cherry on top. Story it's will not save a game. Just for marketing a little bit. It's yeah. like it's for UA rather than just game and. But it's expected revenues. to have some kind of standard of story. You know, it needs yeah. to be there. Some people love it. Some people like me completely skips it, and that's it. Yeah, I don't even read that shit. Why? Yeah, see, you're the same boat there. So, okay, okay. <laughs> so, you're building up this town. Um, cost coins. You're getting now. You're you're, you're uh, getting experience. You're getting more items. So you're basically getting uh, things to help you merge faster, and you're starting to get tools. Once you level up. Leveling up here is how you kind of upgrade your generators. So that's how you're spawning out higher tiered items when you play. You also sometimes get energy. Um, now, what's interesting is up until level 12, you are actually on a, you, your, your limiting agent, which is like a chemistry term. The thing that, that, you, that holds you back is basically coins. You, mm -hmm. you are, you can, there's energy, you're making stuff, but you have to constantly grind for coins to get the orders, uh, sorry, to get the building done. Now, mm -hmm. after 12, that changes. Coins become super generous because now they've added multi-stage multi building upgrades and tools. So this 
the other games do not have. They do not have this. It's usually just coins that you have to build, like basically to build out whatever your meta is. They add a secondary currency to this. And I think that was incredibly clever. Oh yeah, uh, Jacob pulled it up. It's yeah. these. And they have, I think they're like, um, they did five uh, levels. Let, so it's- Yeah, match five. And if I understand correctly, did you see them ever come out in this kind of a temporary shop? No, nope. I don't think so. No. They're, they're smart. <laughs> yeah, they like. I think I once saw them uh, today when I started the game because I, I was doing some kind of event. They again have this like very nice like we push you to play trigger events like you have just forty minutes, and they put additional resources here for these uh, let's say call them tools if you complete quests. And you get like, you know, two breaks out of this one, even though it's not there now. But if it's like during that period, you get it, so on and so forth. So I think it's playing really into that kind of, a you know, we want you to continue and reinforce you to play the main thing and just like add you more progression if you continue doing it because you run out of energy, you run out of whatever resources, something, something, you know where to buy it or where to get it. Or best thing is this kind of a, or this, uh, the... The Joker, Joker token in the shop. I don't think so. I also seen that. Does Gossip Harbor has it? I think they has it, or, or do they have it? The, the Joker lets you up. Is it upgrading or, or it's upgrading an item, right? Merge, you can merge, merge with anything. anything. Yeah, you can merge, merge with anything. anything. I believe it does. Gossip Harbor has a ton of like in booster boostery things. Actually, mm. Merge Mansion does too. Um, they have slightly different boostery things though. I think yeah. Gossip Harbor has a Joker. Yeah, but that's there, like. The balancing is like outstanding, definitely. For me, when I was playing all these other games, this was definitely the most enjoyable one. For oh, me, yeah. As, as some kind of a non super often non, playing non, casual games. Non merch player. <laughs> so, I, I wouldn't say that. I, I played a lot of merch games before when I was working on them, but these days I don't play anymore. Yeah. So, one thing I will comment on is I, t I did a little bit of an exercise that was I can't share because it's too ugly, but I took, I actually went through. And calculated, if you look at the orders, they ask for two items, usually one or two items, and they have an output of either coins or tools. And I actually did like a sample size, about 15 orders, and I just put down what was asked for, what the estimated energy sink was, and what the reward was to see what the ratio was between output and energy drain. And Travel Town hands down does it the best. You need to remember these players want to feel rewarded. If you're asking for mm. a tier nine piece and you're giving 10 coins, which doesn't yeah. progress a task, that is incredibly frustrating. And as much as I love Gossip Harbor, they are they they they're they're out they're basically their their requested effort to output was not balanced as well. Hmm. Ooh, I would just yeah. throw my phone uh, to the wall if if yeah, yeah, oh. it's like come on like I'm I'm merging like for twenty minutes and then I, I get ten coins what the fuck? Yes, <laughs> seriously. I there there were definitely with uh, Gossip Harbor and Love and Pies. I wanted to throw my phone against the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I think. <laughs> Merch, uh, sorry, Travel Town also has these kind of spikes, or at least that's what I like experienced a lot. Where if you get to a point within the game that you, let's say, for instance, complete a lot of daily quests, it gives you a lot of energy on top, and then it gives you more progression within the main game, which gives you level ups, which gives you more energy. So it goes really nice into this kind of spike shaped curve where suddenly you move very fast, and then you move very slow, and then again you move very fast. Whereas with Gossip Harbor, I would say I was moving the same speed all the time and it gets just a little bit more clunky the more the board gets filled Yes. as I go. All right, let's jump to the next loop. Oh, yeah, sorry, there's just some... I, since, yeah. yeah, I put in some, some stills. Oh, yeah. okay, so Merge Mansion is what I looked at next. We can skip that bit because you, you, you were so kind to show the, the actual gameplay, which is better, <laughs> better than my images. So... Yeah, yeah. The game loop for Merge Mansion is very different. And I I I, I mean kudos Jacob, to Metacore. Can, can you go, go back, back to the actual actual merge loop? Oh, sorry. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I kudos to them for starting this trend. Like I credit where credit's due. However, I find this game very, very difficult to play now. Especially when because when playing other grid merge games. <laughs> Their loop is just different. You merge. You, yeah, you get basically event energy, you get battle pass points because they actually have a battle pass. It, um, you Now, there's two different types of energy. So they have side event boards, which are actually more fun than the main board, in my opinion. Um, but and then it drains because energy. Because you start from scratch. That's why Because you fun. start oh, from yeah. scratch. Yeah. Exactly. Now, what's fundamentally different about this game is they, so this is how my tasks and orders are different. 
orders come up and they tell you, I want these things and I'll trade you coins. Hooray. This, they tied their meta directly to the items. So there is no, there's nothing in between your item and building out your board. And you're like, oh, maybe that's not a big deal. It's a big deal. It's a big deal because it it severely limits the how how many orders they can give at the same time because that's where the balancing will start to get incredibly difficult. Um, yeah, because it gives you in a binary situation where you either yes. have the task completed fully with all the tokens or you don't. And therefore, that's the only way to progress the game. Whereas in Travel Town, you go granularly slowly order by order because they're just giving you coins and you need, I don't know, three to four orders to get there. So the yes. also granularity causes the frustration there. And what, what all, uh, that and if... If you're going to look at, again, this goes back to balanced economy. If if you're going to have uh, your tasks based only focused on specific generators and those generators have cooldown, they're basically constantly putting me in a position where I have nothing to do. And I know they're trying to use this as a pain point for spend. I think it's, I mean, the game's doing well. I, I don't, I can't see how that's going to be a long-term plan. It is incredibly but, frustrating. <clears throat> it's doing well, but it could, you know, be doing way better. Way better. Yeah, it's always it's always the other side of the market. Yeah, it's going it's going well. It's like, oh, but what if you could do way better? Yeah, that's also the big question. Like, if let's say at some point guys from merge mentions should upgrade their core loop there, like something for instance, if we look back at what happened with um, Pirate King, where Coin Master came out, they also switched from the Wheel of Fortune to Slot Machine later down the line. Because it was their core loop, and they just know that it worked better for Coin Master. So it's a big question: like, should Merge Mansion guys then switch to Travel Towns kind of order system? Yes, a hundred percent. I would, and I, I mean, the what I have hope though is there. Yeah, the the events are fun because I don't, I can't play half the time. Half the time, my board's so filled, I'm forced to to get rid of things I don't want to get rid of, and I just again, this is why it's throwing my phone against the wall because <laughs> I, I I'm forced to make difficult decisions I don't think I should have to make. But, well, but anyway. Pedro, no, Pedro, yeah, well, it's yeah, Pedro, Pedro. where's Pedro he? Like, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, where's he? <laughs> I mean, I was like, Pedro Pascal, do we, do we really need to talk about this again? Yeah, <laughs> so, like, please no. But I would, I would wager, and I put this in a slide after, I have a note here. They, I mean, you look at my board, go back one, look at my board. My board yeah. is nuts. And the worst part is I think they, they put the event token, which is in the top center. That is how you access the event. So they mm. actually take up a, a, a space on my board, which I need. <laughs> How dare as a they? as a button. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Pedro will yeah. help you here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pedro will help you. Yeah, sorry. Fuck. Um, yeah, well, that's not good. No, but like, then, if, I yeah. if I understand correctly, sorry. The biggest difference between the event live up setup that these guys run is that, or also like Merch Mayor was doing that, that they would run these kind of new boards and you start from scratch on the timer. Rather than where Travel Town and all these, let's say, newer games, they run these kind of, uh, let's say, reinforcement events or events that are still just adding on top of the orders or reinforcing the core gameplay through some additional layer of event style rewards, let's say. But there's no second board, if I get it right. Yet. I I mean, I feel like the, the night's still young for Travel Town when it comes to oh, events. Yeah. Yeah, but we'll get there to their meta progression layer. This is also interesting. <laughs> Let's move on. Okay, Gossip Harbor. <laughs> yeah, actually, the way what you explained is is perfect. That's exactly what Gossip Harbor does. They they got, so unlike Merch Mansion, they have an order system. It just makes it makes it easier. Um, what they what they do do is that um, when I was trying to figure out, I did the game loops to try to figure out where I think the spend the sink is. Mm. But after level fifteen, they unlock something called a generator, which allows you to spend two energy instead of one to spawn out higher tier items. So that is how they start to address mm. some of the challenges. I have not seen that in the other games yet. That would be something that if Merge Mansion is taking notes, I would start to look at some of that. Yeah, we do have some uh, listeners from uh, Metacore. So guys. Isn't take, that something similar notes. to like all casino games have, like increase the like energy spent button? Yes. Yeah, you have, it's yeah. exactly the same. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's exactly the same. Yeah. So maybe Travel Town will do it. I'm, I think I'm only level 19 or 20 in Travel Town. Maybe they have it later, but that, I mean, 
uh, Moon mm. Active has that down to a science with a uh, coin master. That's very true. Yeah. yeah, that's very true. Yeah, yeah. Didn't even think of that. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Let's see. Yeah. So Gossip Harbor, other than it's heavily inspired by Love and Vice, <laughs> <laughs> but like. They're making like way more money than them than like yeah, all the yeah. price, right? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. like we can we can I think uh, have it, it here. It, it goes back to so one of the frustrations I made, made a little bit of notes. One of the frustrations is that I think with Love and Pies the pacing is 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 off because there's a mismatch between energy orders building and um, generating generator cooldowns. And I think one thing that Travel Town does is I call them relief orders. So hmm. you can't have if you once you start to lose your board space in grid merge, you're a little bit effed. There's nothing like then you can't now you're making these hard trade offs you don't want to make as a player. I can't progress properly in the in the battle pass and merge mansion. I can't I can't up, I can't actually merge all the pieces of XP I get because I don't have space. I, that means I can't hmm. progress. What Travel Town does is they again relief orders. So as you have specific goals, you have these generators that spawn primary and secondary items. They create orders that actually take some of the items off of your board, trade you for coins um, to keep your board clearer. And dynamically, that is some... dynamically, yes. that's the important part. Because yes. I don't know if you have noticed, but for instance, these, let's say, these sand castles and these yep. forks, they have <laughs> a system that the moment you have three on the board, they automatically take them out. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they give you a good reward for them because they're final tier items. 750 you... gold. Per, yes. for this kind of task and you can just keep them there you know the order will come the moment you have three and you will have those because they are a byproduct as a secondary kind of a gen like resource it's that amazing. you can generate yeah yeah yes it's, it's amazing. amazing it's amazing genius and so that is not what the other games do i think gossip harbor does it a little bit i think they do it and love and pies doesn't do it enough so there are there's a whole bunch of like this is there's a there's a scene in a uh, legally blonde where like Elle Woods, the main character, is like, I just like woke up one day and wanted to go to law school um, because it could be so easy. And I feel like a lot of people wake up thinking, I'm just going to make a grid merge game. It's going to be oh, easy. I... It's not easy. <laughs> exactly. It's like, oh my god, like it's merge, not easy. Like, yeah. Have you have you seen the the retention curve? Oh my god, it's perfect. Yeah, Twenty percent day thirty. Yeah, and then yeah. then yeah. I then I say, you know what? But have you seen also the forty dollars CPIs in US for for purchase campaign? Oh no, no way. Yeah, you just wait for value optimized campaigns. It's fifty plus. Oh no, and that's like that's only the UA side. <laughs> so, yeah. Hmm? yeah, like I think it's it's kind of super smart and very important to kind of let the player have always some kind of a board to kind of merge with because it's introducing the fail yes. state into the game that's not supposed to be there whole merge point of like these merge games that there is no fail state ever you just merge stuff and get enjoyment out of merging there's yes. never a loose scenario whereas if your merge board is just full of shit and you need to kind of make space you need to get stuff out which means you're losing energy losing money there's a loose scenario which shouldn't be there well, then it pushes the spend to storage space, and that becomes your drain, which is, I think, one of the worst things to do. It's like, a, I think it's breaking every design principle. Yeah, I hate yeah. when storage becomes the main monetization because it just means you've given me too much stuff because your economy is broken. Yeah, uh, essentially. Yeah, one last thing Don't to Gossip Harbor I wanted to, sh to, to yeah. show here. <laughs> uh, so Gossip Harbor is doing something like, let's omit the spikes here, but whatever, like, 350k a day, let's yeah, say, IP only, without ads. And if we look to Love and Pies, actually, I have it somewhere here, Here, they actually increased their revenue throughout the years. Like, they're not in decline. They actually went to something like 65k a day or something, compared to, like, before where they were, like, half of it. It's not going into decline. It's actually going pretty well. It just makes seven to eight times less yeah. than, than the industry leader, yeah. inspired version of it. Yeah. I think it has to do with what we're talking about in terms of running out of board, board space and then balancing out how you're doing the orders versus the uh, orders and progression, building out, making sure everything's draining. So it, I think with Love and Pies, I hit a fail state more often than I do in, in Gossip mm -hmm. Harbor. Okay, uh, that was Gossip Harbor. I think this is the overall comparison of all the merge boards. Yeah, Red board, so this, sorry. yeah, that's just they're they're really you know it, we play them at you know we only play well we play multiple games at a time. But 
different players, they're actually incredibly visually different. Um, yeah. And I think what we, at least it, this happens in match two, where I also think Travel Town excels is you need to be able to parse where your pieces are very quickly. And you can start to see when you put these things on board, which ones get busier and which ones are not. And I think from a, from basically a UX standpoint, I can. it is much easier to tell which chains are together, which items are together, mm-hmm. and then yeah. where the items start and end versus Merge Mansion, which their items actually go into other grid spaces, which is driving me crazy because it actually blocks things <laughs> I want to see. So I think that if there's one thing to look at, and this obviously isn't going to make or break the game, it's how do you look at your pieces? How do they connect? Because the art is incredibly important for, the, for these types of games. That, that's the same exact principle like Candy Crush has, like the yeah. the the visuals of like how the match ticks actually is very important, even though it's as as you say like not really making the KPIs, but it's very important. Yes, it is. <clears throat> and then, okay. then you have the comments about the Royal uh, Royal Match and how like what's how big of a difference it is mm. when you play Royal Match versus oh, yeah. Candy Crush. Yeah. Oh, it's so different. <laughs> it's like two. Diff- it feels like two different games. So I put what I think of the main monetization in a little bit. So as we talked about, Travel Town has like a souped up, super balanced economy. It's amazing. They have they have the perfect amount. I think they're actually probably getting majority of their um, revenue from energy spend. And then secondarily, it'd be some people are probably doing a coin, a, the hard currency sync on items. Um, maybe generator speed ups, but majority mm-hmm. energy. Merge Mansion, I would not, if someone said to me, they got like a, a heavy percent of uh, coin sync and therefore revenue from storage space, I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised. Um, I think they have a, a less have, have, I think they would be, if I was going to look at it by like what percent of, of spend per action in game, I'd say it was more evenly split between storage space energy and event energy when the events are active, especially the side events. Um, and I think that, that, that would be my guess anyway, that from playing, from playing this and then gossip Harbor, hands down energy. I think it's changes a little bit in the early game. Um, I had a lot more generous energy up until I hit about level like 10, 11. And then it became very clear. It is an energy sink um, plus a little bit of a a gem sink. And I'm sure they see a spike whenever they have the season pass start. Um, Yeah. Oof. That's the end of the presentation. Last thing I would, no I would way. want no, to, no, 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 no. Last thing I want to end the product part is with our favorite um, rating guy. No, 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 no. Ratings at the end. We'll our last. favorite we'll guy last. called Milburn. Maybe you know him. Penny bags. Yes, that Come one. On. Because there's this other thing that's happening within Travel Town that I also haven't seen in all the other games, which is well, me finish clicking through all the windows that Mil- Milburn is throwing at me uh, is that there's the meta layer system from Monopoly Go currently sitting also in Travel Town. So if you go into Monopoly Go and you see their kind of sticker layer system, the collectible album that you have there. Oh, the notification so... one that you have to drag through? <laughs> no, no, no. This is, this is actually very important because the the things what these guys have is that you are getting these stickers and they're giving you just more energy and stuff that's there but you have all the hooks and everything that goes into their facebook group yeah that's and it's say. perfectly aligned with their audience match where you can trade these cards between other players in their facebook group directly or indirectly through the game because the moment i have let's say more of a like let's say Two duplicates of this guy have no use for it. So I just go there and trade with other players. And this is their kind of a temporary system of collection of something, but it always goes in a loop. I think this is like 70 days or what's the, I don't know what's the exact time, but they run it on some kind of a cycle and then the album resets and you need to recollect again. That's it. The Oof. only permanent value is this kind of a token that changes with every season that's there. If we go to Travel Town, they actually implemented the exact same system here. With Ooh. again ah. a lot of yeah, with again uh, the hook directly into the Facebook group. So choose cards to send to your friends, connect to your nice. Facebook, create cards with. Nice. So this is exactly the same layer as Monopoly Go has, with the big difference that I didn't or wasn't able to find a permanent value that's coming out of it. It's just pure energy and resources coming out of these things, like chest here and stuff. Mm-hmm. There's not like Monopoly token they can give you here. 
but other than that, the system is exactly the same. They are just. Would you say... <clears throat> Yeah, sorry. Would you say this Go was on. inspired by what was a Diablo game that they basically their seasonal content was you got to play with characters, new characters up until a point and then the content, the season ends and the characters disappear? Uh, yeah, something <laughs> like that. It's like th this was always the big problem, even for me when I was doing like midcore merch to add permanency into the game, because the only permanent thing you can add are the generators. And if you add too much of them, like the progression goes haywire because, you know, that's that's the only valuable thing that you get there, the output of your economy. So what else can you get there? Nothing. So they are also basically giving you nothing because these things will vanish away anyway. But if you look at the daily quests, the offers, the you know, the events that they are running, all of them are tying up into these booster packs, which mm. are giving you more and more cards. And then I guess because the community as it is as it is uh, which is the casual kind of a mostly female population of, of of gamers i think is a great match for them regarding the facebook trading card yeah. kind of style thing so we like collecting also... things yeah exactly <laughs> even though they will vanish away anyway <laughs> doesn't matter yeah I mean, I, I remember like the Redecor Facebook groups, like yeah. so many, yeah, like, exactly, so exactly. many, so many players there. Yeah, I don't know exactly when this was added. Wasn't able to find it through like the update timeline, but my guess is mm. it would be somewhere after Monopoly Go, not before. Yeah, which yeah. is what like a year old at, at most. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Okay, there you go. Product one finished. Nice. Oof. Do we need to add? It's super interesting. Are we going to add? Yeah, we can do ads. Yeah, right. We can do ads. Yeah. Where is where your presentation, man? Come on. I no presentation, but I did bring a pencil to this gunfight. <laughs> your presentation <laughs> is so small that we wouldn't be able to see it. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's very small. Very yeah, small. after getting made fun of so much from two episodes ago, I'm not making any more presentations. But so um, both Gossip Harbor and Travel Town, uh, those are the only two games uh, that have ads currently on the top three. Uh, yeah, Merge Mansion. I did some snooping. There is an admon person that joined a couple of months ago inside of the yeah inside of my inside of um, Metacore. So I have a feeling they're going to be rolling out ads because why hire an admon person if you're not going to roll out ads? So we're just going to be dealing with Gossip Harper and just for Travel fun. Town. Just yeah. maybe for maybe, making presentations, small uh, presentation. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Can you do a share screen like we normally do? Uh, sure, sure, sure. But I check. Uh, so the lifetime revenue of uh, both Gossip Harper and Travel Town, according to Sensor Tower, is Travel Town is around 150 million in lifetime revenue on IAP. Gossip Harbor is around 100, so probably with Sadness Multiplier, that's closer to 200, 250. Yeah, something like Max. a lot bigger, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. So uh, the games are very similar in some ways, uh, but the admon strategy is very different between Magmatic and Microfun. Does any one of you want to guess which one has the better admon strategy and which one I would say has the worst one? Gossip Harbor is stronger on that. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And do you guys want to guess what mediation platforms are on? Because it's quite clear that they are on different mediation platforms as well. Oh, yeah. I'm going to well, see uh... my way out of here. I'm going to take my, <laughs> my pencil. <laughs> no, Matthew, you, should be, you should be able to guess. Like, what, what mediation no, yeah, do you yeah, think yeah, Travel yeah. Town is on? Uh, tra Travel Town is uh, definitely up loving. Travel Town is on level play. And oh, oh, Gossip Harbor oh, is on hell. max. Max, right? okay. Yeah. I would guess the other, uh, the other way around, actually. How come? Okay. Is it the spam? Uh, we'll probably get to that with the spend, right? But yeah, I mean, like honestly, Uploving is just the biggest for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but like, would you right. think Travel Town is level play? Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. So, Unity, yeah, Travel Unity Town, can, uh, the ad placements, uh, they have energy replenish when you run out of energy. That's capped at four times a day. And basically, really, the ad placements really start to come into life after level 10, because that's also when they unlock the pop to unlock ad placements. And when it comes to Travel Town, that's it. That's like all, <laughs> that's like all the ad placements that they have, right? So pretty much you're capped here at four impressions per DAU in the start of the early game, which is 
quite low because not always you actually run out of energy as well, right? Because you're passing levels. And if you're good at what you're doing, you're not really like running out of energy that early in the game. So mm -hmm. it's very long tail for ads. So it's clear here that ads is not the main like revenue driver at all. Yeah. And it's like basically added on and bolted on, I think, as a mere afterthought, uh, like as the game, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Grew. Well, also uh, you get you get energy every two minutes. So you and exactly. if you can only trigger it at energy out, you have basically a two minute window to watch that ad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then if we look at Gossip Harbor, uh, it's a bit different here. So here, the main difference on the admon strategy is that the energy replenishes. You also get them, but it's at a later stage, past level eleven, when you're running out of energy. But it's capped at one a day. Uh, but they have several more ad placements. You have the daily specials in store, uh, showing that one right now. And you have the hot, stale, hot sales in store refresh, which I think is an amazing ad placement that you can basically refresh for mm -hmm. an ad. And then you have pack. Uh, is that pack capped, open. by the way? The hot uh, you sales? can watch four in a row. Uh, I've been able to watch four in a row. Mm, okay. Doesn't yeah. give that much economic value, so you can no, no yeah, yeah. cap it. Yeah, keep it going, right? Because it just gives you new options. And then, what mm. what is that gem value? I think it's like five or ten, right? I think For it the... was twenty actually. Twenty. Oh, 20. 20, 20, 20. Harm. Yeah. And then also you have pack open on the board. So sometimes you can open something with a rewarded ad instead of popping Ooh. a balloon or with like paying gems, yeah. right? That's our favorite. favorite yeah. But yeah, it exactly. goes only to a degree because then the gem value gets too big and you cannot have an ad. Placement and the same goes for Travel Town. Yeah. So, mm. in, in terms of from Admon perspective, right here already, I, I think there's tons of low hanging fruit already in terms of ad placements. And and the one I wanted to ask you, Gowan, the one that sticks out most to me, which is most confusing for me without the product knowledge that you guys have, is why don't they have an ad placement when you complete a level? Because you always complete a level when you're playing, because it's quite often, especially in early points of the game. Why is there nothing to double? with a rewarded ad placements when you complete a level. You mean like, like the me, story? The, 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 yeah. You mean the order? Yeah. Or you complete, like, you get, you, know, you, you know, finish you the items? You go from level one to two. Uh, you go from level one to two in either of the two games. Oh, then you get, okay. like, a rewards at the end of these levels, right? It's usually energy and coins or energies and something else. But for, for like, I don't understand why none of these games don't have a rewarded ad placement there. It just seems like a no-brainer to me. Like, what would you gain? I mean, the, the value of the ad placement yeah. would be giant. Yeah, but you could even like make it less, right? Or yeah, adding something on top of that because it's a natural break in the game and it would be a good conversion point. Yeah, but wouldn't that like destroy the whole economy afterwards? It, I'm asking it, yeah. if it, I'm asking. if it would double this, of course. So I think, because... sorry, in this in that game, if, correct me if I'm, I'm wrong, Jacob, but two of those blue boxes can yield 200 energy, right? Because you can yeah. merge them up to get the red potion, and that's 100 energy a pop. Not not always, but it could lead up to. That's a lot of energy. What if you halved yeah. it and then you basically made the standard that you assume everyone will watch the ad? But that would this that would kind of it's a granularity problem, mate. Right? That you cannot kind of cut the thing to the point where it would be uh in the same representing the same value as your ad placement. Because for instance, here, let's take the timer here. I can skip eight minute timer here for an ad for this kind yeah. of pack. It's equal to eight gems. The moment you breach this, whatever they define value of an one rewarded video, you cannot put an eye placement because it's just like too much of a value. Yeah. And yes, you can't you can will... make the, the box or the chest to half, right? If you just change the whole like no box or a box. Items you know? in the, yeah. yeah. All right. So you also throw thinking... another item. But... Yeah. And the other one I was also thinking okay. about is kind of a take from. Um from uh, the idle genre, right? Like what we're talking about, like this tiered items that when you're like uh, getting items out on the board and they're usually like the lowest level of items, uh, I would want to see what it would look like if you had an ad placement that would give you odds of getting higher, like, like stuff on the board for a fixed amount of time, let's say five minutes after watching a rewarded ad and you could rewatch that and stack it like you do in most idle games to get higher likelihood of getting higher matched yeah, gear. Oh. So it's rolling okay. back in their heads. So yeah. question. So that means like it, for a, for a certain amount of time, a generator would spawn higher items if they watched an ad, or higher likelihood of getting higher, like higher, like yeah, higher match or higher tiered items. 
that's so hard to communicate to players that, you know, you have a 10 percentage point increase in getting tier three items for 30 minutes. I mean, I think, I mean, some of them I mean, have, it works on idle have boosters. Like it works on idle games. Yeah, because it's double zero production. Not yeah, but yeah, double zero production. <laughs> right. Or Maybe. Something. I mean, we do have players that build these spreadsheets. They Some of them might. Some of them might. Yeah. I mean, I would test it. Yeah. But then, what would be the additional ad revenue you would get on this? Okay. Yeah, let's, 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 yeah, let's, let's get to the, the revenue part. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just wanted, just wanted to go for a couple of critiques also. It's like on Travel Town, you can tell they don't really care as much about ads because their end cards on all the ads are absolutely oh. terrible. The end yeah. cards well, that they're allowing these things to get away with is like 60 second like rewarded video, 40 second rewarded video, and it's really annoying end cards. Like whoever's managing that, tighten up these end cards because they're super annoying and they don't on Gossip Hard because they actually probably care about these end cards. But yeah, need to tighten it up. So they care about end um, cards, but they don't care about like how the creatives look like and what is the concept. Freezing <laughs> families, fucking hell. Come on. Like, but this is a retention thing. This is a retention thing. If you have bad end cards, that's a retention <laughs> yes. issue, right? Sure, yeah. sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Very, fair enough. Yeah. Okay. So uh, let's get to brass tacks. What do we think about ad revenue? Uh, so, important thing here is that ECPM and these titles are going to be absolutely massive. So yeah. we have 500,000 users in Gossip Harbor. We have a million and a half in Travel Town and a large user base in Tier 1 and US. So these games have massive LTV and a high like yeah. amount of purchasers. So that was going to increase your ECPM massively. So I'd estimate in the ECPM in the States for these titles to be 85 to 90s. And probably worldwide, it'd be somewhere between a global average of 30 to 40, 45. Just to put that into perspective, like you say, a good global average for rewarded video is 15 and 30 in the 15, States. Yeah. So it's like really big, right? So yeah. I'm not sure if these games are getting a super high, like those, like the highest, like 90s of ECPM in the States. I think it's more around 70 or 80. Because Gossip Harbor blocks majority of merged three titles. So I didn't that, that see That was my question. Yet. These guys block each other out, don't they? Yeah, they block each other out. That will have a negative depression. But I'm also seeing, haven't seen that many like yeah, merge three games. So I'm having a feeling they're blocking those games as well as to see them as competitive. So I didn't see that much. So, like, so that what? Like you cut the ECPM by yeah, 30%, so the percent biggest, the biggest like buyers, which Mati can probably going to say here, that spend a lot of money, which has an extreme impact on ECPM is Player XP, King and Dream, right? And yeah. if they're not buying and if they're not allowed to buy, then you won't unlock the highest possible ECPM. And the reason for that could be that they see the kind of audiences as overlapping. So they yeah. fear that they could like, they, yeah, they lose are. the audience, right? They are. Which is quite a good strategy, right? Anyway, so Gossip Harbor, uh, I think the impressions per DAU is about four on 50% of the user base, which would mean that right now they're earning about 50K a day or a million and a half a month or 18 mil a year, which is 19% of total revenue. So if you take into account sadness multiplier and increase the IAPs a bit more, I think more around 15 to 19%, yeah. something around there. Very, very achievable for them. Travel Town. Uh, DAU, 1.5 million, so ad revenue is going to be a lot bigger. Impdao, 3, 3.1 maybe. Mm -hmm. Ad viewer rate is not more than 40. So that means they're yeah. making 97K a day in ad revenue, 3 million a month or 35 million a year, 15 million IAP, which means it's probably closer to 10 uh, if you take into the sadness multiplier. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, could be. Well, I would so, say I would like 10, 10, 10 percent, a lot more. So, so ten percent, okay. That's the percentage. Ten to for fifteen Town. to twenty. It's in that range. It's mm -hmm. not over twenty, I think, for either of the games. Mm -hmm. uh, here, I just wanted to say, like, it's a big opportunity, I think, to take uh, a, like a add one like cue from the King playbook. I'm just wondering if that would be applicable here as well. All right, so King, like their games in tier three and tier four geos is an ad monetized like experience and ad monetized games, and in tier one US. It's, yeah, IAP driven, very premium. I'm just wondering if it would be an opportunity here for them to do the same thing. But to really you load always up on say, that placements. 
you always say like tier three, tier four countries are not very lucrative, like in terms of the revenues. I mean, they the might massive user base. Bit. You can have massive user bases there, right? You can, but then like the CPI is not low. CPM. The CPI is not low. Maybe it's, I mean, it's definitely lower in like tier three, tier four I countries. I mean, you, you but... say that, right? But King still has a $200 million a year ads business, right? And that's yeah, only I'm sorry, tier like, and tier is, it, is it King, the tier small three company, three. which is fucking around for a long time? You mean that company? Yeah. I Fair. Yeah, that's fair. Travel time is nowhere near, and like microphone also nowhere near King. I'm just saying it's an opportunity, it's... but yeah. I don't know, like it's, it's definitely an opportunity, it I is, guess yeah. so. But uh, yeah, my guess is that the soonest we see like a fully incorporated can like, add stuff into it is the moment that we see like a true merge hybrid rather than that. Yeah. Like something like Blockjam 3D or something like that. It's that... never going to happen because merge games have really high CPIs. Yeah. That's it. And even if, see, if you maybe, run revenue, is I don't think they're ever going to go over that. So, yeah. Maybe that's, that's the thing. half a year later, we are reviewing a voodoo game that's making, you know, whatever amount of 50-50% because it looks like it looks and, you know, there it goes. Just, it, you know, a yes. little bit tweak here and there. Yes, how it looks is one thing, but also like the mechanic is also the other thing. It's just like you can't have low CPIs with merch in, in the credits. It's just like... We I even did it when way before it was cool for for tra for Traplight and Bat Battle Legion. We tried merge before, but it wasn't like that saturated back then. Yeah. And then as soon as like yeah like merge games started to pop up, it became even more yeah more expensive. So like that's that's how it is at the moment. Yeah, and, I know Pedro Pascal's are at you. So <laughs> and not the, no 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 no. But okay, so sure. creatives. Always up loving top one. Then we had a uh, kind of, I mean, Travel Town is basically everywhere. There's like all the channels out there. It's just, yeah, they're running it. That's like, that's how, how they're growing their, uh, their user base and the revenues as well. But then uh, in terms of the merge games, uh, Unity especially is doing quite well. And as soon as I, I had some merge game in the soft launch, it was always about Facebook, Google, and then Unity. Uh, Facebook iOS for uh, for merge games is doing quite well, and uh, well, Google is a must, obviously. And now, what I'm seeing uh, more and more is TikTok Creative Challenge, even for these types of games, because these guys are using a lot of UGC creatives, and that's uh, the same thing what we see in TikTok Creative Challenge. So creators are kind of producing the videos, like uh, with their commentary about uh, the gameplay. So that's these are like the the main ones for. Merge Mansion, it was quite interesting because their creatives now very far from Pedro Pascal. It actually looks quite terrible. Sorry, guys, but it's... I'm not sure like what happened to you, and we'll go into the, those creatives later on, but it's just oof. I mean, I guess I guess you spend all the money for, for Pedro. I, that, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, also, in, in no terms one hates of the, him. Like, good the money. Sure. It also like kind of in, in terms of the whole like of the U, UA channel mix, like they run lift of Mintegral and a little bit of Facebook, which is quite weird because when I compare that to, to Travel Town and then even Gossip Harbor, it's Uploving, Unity, Google, those are the biggest channels. There is a Mintegral a little bit here and there, but like Uploving is absolute, absolutely killing it. And even for now for Travel Town, the Unity it's it's up there and it makes sense now that you said that they have a level play as as mediation. So that makes sense. But then um yeah so we don't need to kind of talk about Pedro Pascal but I guess we need to talk about Travel Town and Kylie Jenner, I guess a little bit. <laughs> because I was like I saw I saw that creative. I was like, who the fuck is this person? <laughs> and I was How like, do you okay. not know who Kylie Jenner is? I was no, 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 no. I mean, even, apparently, even I, would, I wasn't. I wasn't really keeping up with the Kardashians that much. <laughs> I haven't kept up with the Kardashians. <laughs> and I was like, ah. I was like, okay. But the thing is, like, you know, like she was born in 1997. 1997. Okay. Which is really impressive. And yeah, she has 3 million followers on Instagram. So obviously, like, this is an influencer and has like several 3 million, brands. Not 300. 
300 million, sorry. 300, 300 million. million. 300 yeah, million. Yeah, 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 yeah. My neighbor down the street million, has 3 sorry. million followers. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. that's true. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Uh, so I'd like, yeah, I'm sorry, 300 million. 300 million. And like multiple actually brands, like cosmetics, like baby, whatever things. I was like, I was so impressed. Like she's absolutely killing it. Like businesswoman, really good. And apparently, Apparently, she charges something around like two million for a social media post on like Instagram for like brand awareness. So I guess for like these type of videos that we're gonna show, we're gonna look at it. Could be even more. Could be even more. I guess like two and a half, three million. That's two that's my nice say two and a half. It's a good number. Two and a half, yeah, two and a half, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, still expensive, but I guess less expensive than than Pedro full CGI production. Um, I guess like that's so the words on the street is like they paid five mil for for Pedro, but if it's true, nobody knows. Nobody uh, knows. You have the creatives, or should I? Stop I do sharing? have the creatives. Yeah, yeah. Please stop sharing. Please stop sharing. And uh, so it's few things. So let me just uh, share this screen and then because we have uh so if i go slideshow you will be able to see it but i won't be able to see you how's but, the uh, volume by the way just saying. i have no idea i have no idea let's see <laughs> so close your ears, <laughs> close close your ears. is it too is it okay yeah or is it like super super high now it's fine anyway so uh i could go and just uh, skim through the, all the creative so I, I have travel town here I would just like just turn yeah, on just mute the sound. yeah just yeah. Turn on mute. So they have like a few different uh, a few different concepts I'm gonna go through them uh, it's obviously they're using hooks narratives and like story driven creatives like merging shit which is kind of like very having very big boards UGC and also what I see is long form videos which is like 45 plus one minute long and then we have Love and Pies, we have Merge Mansion, and then obviously Gossip Harbor. But Gossip Harbor, yeah, spoiler alert, only freezing families, nothing else. And a little bit of sexy shit, as, as usual. So, okay, let's mm -hmm. let's go here. So we have the UGC and kind of a big board. This is my and then, like, pay relax. attention. I'm going to ask you, like, what, what do you think are, like, the trends in, like, Merge um, creatives? So That's we have the, tight, like, huh? this... What? That's a little bit like a tile. Well, tile. yeah, it's like a it's like a drop yeah. cascadey, yeah. yeah. like it, yeah. Let's see. Do you see? Looks like the... ICQ slide lava. This is lava. my favorite way to relax. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. So we have these. Uh, uh, we have also the same thing. Will the merch game but, work in real yeah. life? It can. <laughs> it's, I mean, <laughs> nice little hook. Combination of real life. You <laughs> look at that. Just... Yeah, the very nice little hook. In... And then, like, you see. You just see again. my favorite merge game in real life. I guess this is uh, their UGC person. Again, it's different boards, different uh, different items. and uh, But, like, it's it's absolutely super boring, but still, like, feeling calm and relaxed. Fake boards. Yes, yes. That's what I wanted to say, because I don't think you see this, but... The board and the size of the board is important. Wink, wink. Remember this so, name, Travel Town. Here we go with so Kylie. And that was just a hook, right? So, and it's like one minute long video. And you know what's happening in the video? Merging. Nothing. Nothing but merging. And also, it's very important, like, what kind of items you are merging as well. And also, like, this four, like, times two, times three. That's like this small detail that is super important. Remember this name. By the way, okay. Uh, and then we have oh, the full Kylie video with, the, with captions with as well. Things. And it's like, it's okay, very, lightning, very, more. like, I would say low effort video because just like, you know, you can, you can film this in 10 Ooh. minutes. Then it's you not can like, oh my God, we're trying to solve the mystery and all these like blah, 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 bullshit. Nobody okay, so cares. Download the link here for free. Yeah, download the link. Later. And then we have again. There you go. You charge two. She has a higher level than for uh... this. Oh, let me show you. It's a... <laughs> oh, look. Okay, this so is, I yeah, keep getting I, I, all That's what I would say. Mute her, mute her, Yeah. So, and you have 
this is like it's like this is the full one minute when when she plays a little bit longer than than just thirty seconds because they were like there's, different cuts. There's no way she's she grinded 20. to level twenty. There's no way. No way. No 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 no. Uh, come on, like her Jakub, intern had the phone to? or something. Yeah. Like well, yeah, could be I'm level 21. twenty one. Yes, After a week, no yeah. way. Yeah, it's oh, no way. I'm yeah, I'm nineteen and I spent uh, like just under twenty Australian dollars. Australian dollars? Where are you? Oh, it's Australian dollars. Like what? It's, it's connected. What? This is my my my. This is how oh, I get yeah, the yeah. games in soft launch. Yeah, soft launch. Okay, well, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Use more <laughs> emulators. Yeah, yeah, or just yeah. I mean, Australian or Canadian, like uh, yeah, it makes sense. Okay, so. Again, you're going back. So that was Kyle. Like, there's like different cuts, but it's very simple. But yeah, like no way. And also like that board there. Um, I don't think like that was actual level there. I think that was kind of like old, almost like altered, just for yeah, the sake of the gameplay. Basically, yeah, just it's for not the sake of the game. gameplay. Yeah. Yeah. So then we have the same thing here. It's just different items. And uh, and then more big boards. And that's mm -hmm. that's basically. I mean, like this. This is like a very big concept very in volume. the whole merge category. You have you have big you have big uh, big board, and you're just merging. Forty five seconds of merging. This is thirty seconds of merging. The previous version was t one minute, one minute of of gameplay, just merging. So Nothing the else. whole whole UA it's is based merging. on one creative concept. That's no, 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 it. No, 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 no. No, it's not. But you also I don't stuff. want to hear the sound. I know. <laughs> Yeah, no, no but it's like, again, big portion before. Playing the characters. Have, yeah, they have characters. Uh, but then you have multiple concepts for Travel Town. Like, they are definitely, like, their creative depth is absolutely huge. Absolutely huge. But then, again, it's a, it's a story-driven kind of hook, and then they're using the big board here. So there's was like an X Files hook and the... oh no no, no, no yeah 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 yeah, yeah. No. we are there yeah 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 we are there as no. well of course so we have we have the all kind of uh, story driven <laughs> so this is merch mention basically is yeah it's basically merch mention and combination of of royal match afterwards uh, there you go let's save this this girl oh my god there's let's, the acid let's... yeah there's like come on strawberry acid yeah of course I mean it's like the thing for is, the, for those not watching, it's the usual royal match creative. Yeah, save the, save the whoever is this. Save the but king. This is why I don't know king, match three yeah, games exactly. in yeah showing out in their games. <laughs> yeah, but the thing like it's uh, that's like part of the like creative uh, kind of strategy. You kind of if you have the overall overlap with match match three uh, games, then you you wanna use the, the mechanic or just at least concept that players know and this is just a regular type of ad which is again like tasks customers merging shit just completing the uh yeah the tasks basically or orders so more altered gameplay more altered gameplay yes but then you, you mentioned this uh chain link i guess i call it like kind of merge evolution which is also quite uh interesting let's say part of the creative as soon as i i use this chain link and show them like what you need to what you need to merge until you get to the the highest tier of the item it worked super well the kind of like progression i guess or like how we, how would you call it this this like, chain yeah this chain right so you you sh you show this fuck so you actually use the merge chain in the creative. Yes, yes, and that's very important. Also, like as soon as it's shown, like the, for the whole creative, it perform, performs even better. Mm. Here we have all fi fired yeah. by your boss. Yeah. But then, then you look. This is another kind of spin on, mm -hmm. the, on the merge chain, and this is just yeah. This is something I saw kind of working really well uh, when I was working on like a few few different merge games, uh, getting the chain and then just like simple merging. And Sound. we have this like crazy shit. Sure. Oh. Which is like, what? What's happening here? <laughs> this is used on TikTok? <gasps> no, this is just Facebook and then other channels as well. There you go. That's nice. okay. That looks like almost <laughs> claymation. Yeah. <laughs> you already know like, walls like never walls. Yeah, walls and grommet. <laughs> That was kind of like, you know, like you saw like so many different uh, concepts, big board, narrative, UGC, Play. hooks, <laughs> I mean, whatever. <laughs> so like so many different. 
here, what do you have? Absolute sexy shit because yeah, I evolve, of course. And uh, really, I can't even. I can't even look at it. It's like, and it's by the way, have you, have you looked? It's like across the whole portfolio, or just for Gossip Harbor? This is only at Go only for Gossip Harbor, like this sexy shit, and then the freezing families. We have divorce papers and all of these like fun stuff. Well, not fun, but uh, mm -hmm. the stuff around that, uh, which is common for merch. No, love and pies, and I, I I have it in the in the deck afterwards. But like, this is it, and then we have like merging thing. You you see like the chain yeah. over here. Yeah. That's that's real. That's really really powerful. So they know kind of like what they're doing. But this this fucking shit. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, so they are combining like Lily's Garden thing mm -hmm. and upping it up in on sexy scale works. a little bit. Like yeah. this is basically Lily's Garden. Yeah. Lily's Garden. Yeah, this is Lily's Garden. Yeah. And exactly. and then on top of it, you have the Fla Flarex freezing family. And then in the meantime, you have some merge. Yeah, exactly. So but this not is, much. Yeah, yeah it was like again one minute long, long creative, right? So we have that, and then here we go, freezing families all over again. I'm not sure if that was like a something to measure the temperature or just like a cigarette. I was like, I have no idea. I have no idea what's happening, but it's like Save always her. this like, saver. Is it, by the way, also in Seaside Escape? Have you checked that? No, I haven't checked that, but it's the same thing. Okay, so my guess is still also the same thing. Okay, and then we have, yeah, it's all freezing families, all everything oh. uh, here. Here's like kind of a nice group, but then we have but also... But that's, uh, you know what's that? That's White House Survival hooks. I know, that's White House Survival, yeah, mm. exactly. I know, it's White House Survival and it's all like freezing families. Everything here. So... Yeah, sorry. But at least, at least, yeah, they're using the hook uh, from there. And again, like, yeah, I'm not just not going to go through all of these like weird shit. Which Variation is freezing of, families. Yeah, of like yeah, freezing family. Variation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just giving out like that. Uh, you see, like it's freezing families, nothing else. All are all, all about that. At least now they're using all the, you know, like the merge links and everything here, which is definitely important. But that's it for, for, for this merch mansion is like weird UGC shit which I just, is I mean I have no idea like why like this is Pedro level right <laughs> <laughs> except it's not so it's just cringe UGC type of stuff and then mm. we have also a Japanese I guess they're not UGC using was... the like mysterious drama concept uh, grandma concept anymore they you know, are, like yeah, the they, one they with are, the window and like he's alive blah 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 like playing... yeah they yeah. are but they are banking on these like weird UGC types of moments at the moment and creatives it's like absolute weird but they have I mean excuse me bro what song look, are you listening to what song are you listening to oh yeah it's a merge mansion what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Oh, they're trying to jump on a, a, a TikTok trend and make yeah. ad content yeah. that is following a TikTok trend. Wait. Yeah, and also here's okay. like uh, this type of skill, like you're talking to basically to yourself. Uh, we saw it with uh, with Miss Play, best performing creative. Uh, they Without have, it's ads? one minute long and it's just... lies. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No. Without ads, like no, it's no ads. Like oh, who would who would say they they have all these story driven type of things, you know. Oh, yeah, that's, Again, that's basically yeah, 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 that's basically. These are quite old, aren't they? Like these they ones. Are, yeah, they are. Yeah, they have all these. Still performing it's, well. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, there's the grand mind change. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. it's all there. It's like a few different uh, variations of these. Uh, it's like all the all the all the drama. But yeah, that's that's pretty much that's pretty much it. This is quite new, actually. Like this is a new one. That was an so, animation on the real life hook, was it? No, that mm -hmm. was animation. Yeah, that's animation. Okay, it's not like real life. No, 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 no. No, that's animation. And again, yeah, like kind evil of evil grandma. Evil grandma. Yeah, that's that's the 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 kind of kind of hook. And then we have love and pies, but it's all all the same. But then there is the big board as well for love and pies, and the divorce papers and like different stuff. So it's like it's almost the same. So so mm. what is like kind of the overall creative trends in here i think you can you can answer quite easily big so, board yeah okay tell, tell me big board freezing families uh altered gameplay sexist content there. sexist <laughs> content as usual and then uh what was the last one uh ugc actors whatever things yeah ugc ugc actors and then like the story story driven things it's like the, the main thing Ooh. 
So, and then, yeah, the big board and chain links are the, the most important thing, part. And then obviously like the, the drama is just like, nah, it's not the least garden anymore. So people can't think about like the, the new, new concepts anymore. So yeah, there you go. Ratings. Ratings. Jeez. Ratings. Uh, are we doing ratings now? Yeah. What are ratings? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, it's it's pretty score. much your, yeah, what than a 10 score on the game that you give and you oh, need to then reason at the end of it. <laughs> yeah, in your discipline. Yeah, in your discipline. So I would rate for Adam. So you can go you first, Laura. Product. Yeah. Yeah. Are we do, we're doing, which game are we doing? Should we just exactly. pick one? Just let's go both, with Travel Time. It's both. like, come on, you, you yeah. can't, you, you can't. Travel Time, Gossip Harbor. I would, I would okay, Travel yeah. Time, Gossip Harbor. Yeah. I can... or, or, or Felix, you can, you, can, you can go as lead by example. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So for um, yeah, so for a rating, like Travel Town will get a lower rating than Gossip Harbor because it has less ad placements and worse end cards and less attention paid to it overall. Uh, probably, I would say here like three or four on ad monetization, and then uh, yeah, Gossip Harbor maybe a five. Yeah, getting up there because it's nearly twenty percent. But yeah, Travel Town has a lot more it can do on the ad side. Mate? So Travel Town is like 9.5 out of 10 in terms of the the UA and creatives. It's just it's working really well and we see it on the numbers as well. Uh, the Gossip Harbor, thanks to these fucking freezing families, I would say like I would say like zero, minus 5, but they're also doing quite well. So I would say like 5. If they just try to actually go and test different concepts like what I showed you just now, like they would be doing also quite well. So five. Yep. Yeah, blow it up. Okay, Travel Town, I'd give it eight and a half because I think they I do think they should invest a little bit more in the story and they need to uh they basically need to finish put building out the events loop. I, easy they could become a ten easy. Easy. Mm -hmm. I just think they need to fin finish up the uh feature set. Gossip Harbor I give a seven. Uh mm. I think well, it's good. Seven's good. We'll give it seven and a yeah, half. Yeah, it's good. Let's give no, it seven, seven and a half. Um, it is a good game. I think it, the I think the balancing is not as clean as Travel Towns, and the story is it's entertaining, but it's very. I mean, if you actually read the text, it's it's very awkward text. It does not. It's 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 a very it's a very strange text sometimes. So yeah. Yeah. Um. I would do actually like Gossip Power. I would put the bump higher with eight because they are better than the original which is a no small feat but yeah. i agree with what you said there that like yeah the, the kind of the model is a little bit worse as itself by the nature of the gameplay but the live ops pipeline is super strong that that's why they're better than original mm -hmm. uh travel town i would say yeah i would probably push it to nine there because it, it's like yeah. Keep in mind that Travel Town been around from like 2020, I think, or something. And after this yeah. time, they literally like reached the top. So just the sheer dedication and like the iteration that these guys had went through is like amazing. But yeah, I fully agree that event pipeline needs to be fleshed out much more. Uh, probably, I guess the connection to that Monopoly Go layer isn't as strong as I would like it to be, or at least do something with the permanent thing there that Monopoly mm. Go ha has, which like in the end, eventually you will need to add one more progression layer somewhere because either some kind of cosmetic or whatever, or like you eventually have it in the end. So I guess there's just still waits for them. But yeah, amazing job regarding the whole kind of progression, balancing and stuff, best of the best for sure. Yeah, agreed. Nice. Perfect. Oh my God, that was quite a long episode, it's but marathon. definitely worth it. Yeah, yeah we'll trim it definitely down. Yeah. yeah, no, 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 come on. No, like, yeah, not the, at all. Not at all. I just put the, yeah, the beginning where we just uh, had a lot of fun just at the end. So everybody knows. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much, Laura, for yeah. coming. It was absolutely Great. amazing. This was and, fun. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's how we roll, <laughs> I guess. That's what we try to do. <laughs> that's what we try to do, yes. So again, thanks. And uh, yeah, thank you very much, listeners. Please, uh, if you didn't do that, like go to YouTube. There's a lot of visual stuff, uh, a lot of videos, graphs whatever else gameplay as well and uh please keep subscribing we love it you love it keeps us going as well and then uh see you next time thank you cheers bye 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 ciao
Yeah, okay. I'm just just cutting, it I will just cut it from from there. Like, don't worry. Yeah, like, you see, you see, the, that's uh, all the fun. All the fun. Just that's why he know. cut his hair because he can be quicker and move quicker with his aerodynamic exactly, haircut. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry. Post production. That's yeah. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, but like 16 pages, Jesus fucking Christ. I've, uh, I don't think yeah, we've ever been prepared. And well, some of them are just images. So it's like, that's not even real. That doesn't even take up real space. But um, like a real space color, like this, like two slide decks? Like what the fuck? Well, there's, you, there's only one. We combined them. We combined them. I just them. combined, oh, no worries. Uh, yeah. But what, what? I have a slide deck. You do? <laughs> you do? Yes. Yeah, I put all the creatives in the slides. Everybody because he has a slide deck these days. Yeah, because he was like, oh, Except fuck. You, Felix. Yeah. I, f- I thought we were like, oh, fuck, I'm not, I'm not prepared properly. So I need to. I- no, no. I the I the feedback I've gotten. Gunfight. 